Well, three in a row, no my hide and why. Welcome back to where are they now? What are we cracking? Episode 26, 26, and we're going back to Australia now. The next classmate of ours came from the mighty Central Hawks Bay, Waipokoro. No doubt, I had the pleasure of visiting his home many a time when his lovely mum, who's now passed, um, used to make the best mince pies I've ever had, and I just always remember those mince pies. His older brother went to school. He was one of the Bay Boys, and I even had the privilege of catching the Bay Express back home in the holidays um, with the rest of the Bay Boys. It was just such a good time and so many memories. He's touched many um, boys out there, but look, it's time to say hello and reconnect with the one and only Mark Knees. Kneesy, how are you? Good, huge. Good to see you. You're um, putting in some effort here. I like it. You've done really well. Uh, it's It's been quite good to see the uh, the stories coming coming along. It's really good. Thank you, mate. It's great to see you. Um, fondest memories with you. And, and look, all the boys will have some great memories uh, with you and, and your awesome family. Um, yeah, look, let's start with the question number one. Like we started for the rest of the guys. Just just a recap, I guess, Neasy. Where, where did you come from, which I've already mentioned, but um, how many years at Stream and can you remember your first sort of boarding bay or, or hostel that you had up there in Redwood? Yeah, well, I was uh, from Waipokarao, obviously, and um, I started in 89, did the four years. Um, third form, I was in Bay 8 with uh, Dave Wallace was opposite me, the prefect, and he was quite a hard man back in the day when we were little 13-year-olds, and uh, I had uh, Scott Jensen who was from Hawke's Bay as well, next to me, and then um, Corker, Andrew Cording, on, on the end there. And um, we, we had the small bay. There's only three of us in that bay, um, which was different to the rest of you. You know, you got to greet, meet eight or eight people at once, but uh, it, it, that was our first sort of introduction. But uh, having an older brother, I was quite lucky. The, um, I, I was familiar with the school, and I knew sort of a few faces around the place, sort of whether that was good or bad with the... Um, a bit of the older boys would obviously uh you'd be a target but um it was good the first few days was uh it was good i remember corker was uh he'd come from another boarding school so he was very comfortable with the whole situation he was quite confident it was yeah we had some good laughs oh no doubt and, and the bay boys too the hawks bay boys in particular were a real close-knit real good bunch of guys you know from uh, down there in danny Verk up to up to white or uh, if you were from the bay you were you were you were part of a unique little uh, group there I remember I'd played rugby against Beast and Boz. Um, I went to St. Joseph's and they played St. Joseph's Danny Burke. So we'd played rugby against each other. And I remember um, Beast mainly because he had, when he was little, uh, that the scar on his face was quite prominent. You could see that. And he, he stood out on date the first day. I remember, oh, I know you. And uh, it was quite familiar. Mate, um, did, you see, did you see Boz's, Beast? Did you see Beast is still fit, fits his blazer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no surprise there was the huge. I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, before my next question, a couple of things. Um, now, I just want to acknowledge your appearance because they were such lovely people. Um, now, your mum, Eleanor, lovely lady. Now, I know she's been passed, I think you said, for about eight years. So I hope she's uh, resting in peace upstairs. And of course, your dad, Dan, um, who I had the privilege of meeting. And um, please, when you see him, give him my best. And I hope he's doing well. Yeah, dad's really good. He's in a um, nursing home now, got a bit of dementia, but um, very, very happy man. He's, uh, he's still got day release and he, uh, he gets out into town and um, he, he um, gets around and goes to the pub still and he, um, he's a character. The, um, well, I signed him out recently for a little day visit and I, the nurses are going, well, when's he back? And dad just tells me, oh, I just put later. <laughs> Doesn't give him a time. <laughs> he's, just a, he's, a, he's a character. They love oh. him, but he's a, he's, he's a handful. He's a classic. Now, um, I know that you are uh, making plans to come over for the foundation dinner. Now, just as we've been doing the videos tonight, I think Jacinda's just released uh, some news of a, of a little bit of a lockdown. So what's what's the latest on that one, Neasy? Oh, tonight she's given us 72-hour lockdown. So um, I think there's 20 cases today. So she's uh, shut the borders to us in New South Wales. So we'll see. We'll just play that by ear. If it's open, I'll be there, um, and we'll work that out over the next four or five weeks. Um, yeah, yeah, brilliant. We, we've got a bit of time, which is which is which is good. All right, um, take us back. What did you do in '94? 
or, or or your first year at a stream? Because I think you mentioned you left in sixth form. Yeah, sixth form I finished, and then um, there was a, quite a few of us who, um, personally, I'd had enough of the um, the rules, and the, the year above us, they got gated a lot of the year, and um, I wasn't keen for signing up for that for another year, so I went back to my local school in Waipukarau, Central Oaks Bay College, did a year there, and um, it was actually really good, co-ed school, like Shorty said, um, I played rugby against Beast, I remember playing rugby against Glenn Bunny at Masterton um, when he played down there, um, Shorty if he'd gone to school, probably would have played him against Wairau, but he never went to school. Um, <laughs> but it was a good year. It was a completely different experience to, um, you know, being a day boy and getting good food at night and having a lot more freedom. Um, so I enjoyed it. And then um, did that year and then uh, went to uh, Massey University for two years and um, reconnected with a lot of streamers there. The uh, Jerry Dwyer, Stacker, um, Beast was there a year later. There was a few. Hugo popped in, and there's quite a few from our year that went through there. Um, and then older boys, obviously, and then you know the younger boys carried on through, and um, it was good for a couple of years. Did that, and then um, a couple of years was enough for me. I mean, Chris Fui did two weeks. <laughs> he had <laughs> enough, but I, I I should have left after two weeks, but I did two years, um, which was fantastic. And then I ended up um, deciding to go over to England. So uh, 96, I went to England and um, caught up with uh, Woody over there and lived in London for a couple of years. And then uh, a few other boys dropped through there. And then after two years in London, we did a year in Ireland. And uh, I bumped into Beast in Ireland. And this was before Facebook. So we did the year, a year in Ireland and um, lived with Beast and then uh, came back to Australia and sort of kicked on from there. Wow, what a wonderful memory you have. Now, I was thinking whether I was going to ask this, but I will touch base on it. Um, I think it's prevalence. We've all reached that age. But look, our dear mate, obviously, Woodsy passed away a number of years ago now. Um, that's when I last saw um, a whole bunch of people. But look, you and Woodsy became quite close over the years, or particularly when you guys were in the UK. A lot of time with Woody, yeah. And um, at school and then outside of school and then... Uh... London, I think we were there two, two and a half years in London. And then when I was in Ireland, he lived in um, south of the river in Dublin and I was north side. But uh, it was a good 45 minute walk to go and see Woody and his uh, missus he was with at the time. Um, but yeah, a lot of Woody. And, um, and then obviously I came to Aussie. He went back and went to Victoria University and did his degree. And then uh, in the holidays, he'd come over to Sydney and, you know, we were living with Eden then, Eden O'Connor. Um, come over and come back and yeah, a lot of time with Woody. Um, yeah. So yeah, we we'll think we're coming up 12 years now for old Woody. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's nice. Actually, I've seen some photos of Greg, um, uh, that the boys have been posting up and I, I send the old message to his sister, uh, Adrian, you know, it just, just always in our thoughts, of course. And as we sort of catch up, um, you know, Woodsy will always be with us, um, forever. Now, what did you do? What was your first job? What was your first real job um, once you'd sort of done the education thing? What did you do? Oh, Freezing Works. I went and did a, did a season at the Freezing Works to save some cash for uh, Europe. And um, that was quite good. It gave me a taste of a really mundane manufacturing lifestyle, which was horrendous. Um, the money was good, but it just gave you that taste of, geez, you don't want to do that forever. Um, but that was good. Saved up lots of cash and went to London and worked in uh, building sites and... Um, all sorts of jobs over there. We'd, oh, I could bore you to death with what we did, but we did it basically. You'd, we moved around a lot and you'd travel and come back and take any job that you were given basically. And if it had accommodation, that was a bonus. So a lot of that. And then I picked up a trade in Australia when I got back here in 2000, a couple of trades. And then um, once I got a trade, I went back to England again and did another couple of years there. And then um, after that, I went to where did I go? America for a bit. And then Canada for a year. Wow. So, so then, and then back but, to Australia after that. Wow, you've done some good travel. So look, any particular one of those countries uh, your favourite or one better than the other for you? Oh, I always be fond of um, Ireland. Um, really, really good in Ireland. Um, and London's good. America, you, you get a bit of sick of, of the American um, culture um, after a while. Um, but Vancouver, really good. Love Vancouver. Um but anywhere different, really. You know, I've, I've moved around a lot. So um, yeah. Sydney's home now. They've got the 
yeah, this is where I'll be for a while, I think. Oh, good on you, mate. Now, you mentioned the trade. So what was it? What did you pick up? Uh, I did carpet and vinyl, like just flooring. So, uh, yeah, just a basic trade, but you can do it anywhere in the world. So it doesn't matter where you go, it's the same. So, um, yeah, it's been quite handy. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I gather by your email address, is that your current job now? Is that what you do for a crest? Yeah, I've got a company now here that we um, we sort of specialise in sports floors. So just mainly doing gymnasiums and um, and uh, equine, like horse horse industry stuff. So sort of specialised away from the um, the normal office blocks and houses and things to more um, commercial outfits. Oh, awesome, easy. Now you're in New South Wales that, that you mentioned. Um, how what's the proximity? How close are you to uh, Muffy? Does, uh, living wise, distance wise. Oh, he's probably a 45, 50 minute drive okay. um, away from me. Um, but if there's traffic, that could be an hour and a half, right? It's a big city. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Nizi, are you married? Uh, and do you have children? Please introduce them to us. Yeah, yeah, I've been married. Um, uh, I'm married and I've got two children. Uh, Archie's 11 and Genevieve's 8. Um. But I went to Patrick Ford's wedding, and uh, after one night at Pat's wedding, basically that was the end of my marriage. So it's a story <laughs> for another day, but yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll blame Patty for that. Okay, say no more. Sounds like a, a good one to catch up on. All right, here's a big one for you. I mean, yep, you've got so many memories, um, Neasy, of your time uh, boarding at Stream and, and all the things that you got up to. But look, is there something that really sticks out for you that you want to share with the rest of the boys of your time at Stream? Oh, I've been racking my brain. There's so many stories. I remember silly little things. It was good seeing Shane Riley's video just then. And, you know, the, the more recent ones you remember quickly. Troy Waffey's story was good. because um, I've kept in touch with a lot of boys, but the ones you haven't kept in touch with is quite interesting to see, you know, what they did before school and, and um, like Fiji not having a TV. That's quite, like, it's quite amazing now that you're, you know, you think about that. But um, I remember Soggy, lots of memories of Soggy. Soggy doing the, um, I think it was the 1500 at McKivity when he didn't wear shoes. <laughs> His feet were blisters for a week. Um, just silly things. Chris Fooley jumping off the number two field on the motorbike, down to the number one, chopping his feet up, doing um, lots of things. I think Boz said that we, uh, he said it was quite strict there in third form to start with. And, and, and it was. But geez, we got a lot of a lot of mischief. We 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 were able to do a lot of things, um, and uh, yeah, some 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 good friendships and and just mischief the whole time. Remember, you sort of it was the boys against the system, right? You were like always trying to, whether it was get food or you know there was always something going on, sneak into the kitchen like the boys have said, um, or just get going across the road and risking a couple of canes to get some fish and chips because you're starving, mm -hmm. um, you know pies with Willie and Aiden and that just like yeah I remember my memories I've been quite hungry a lot at school actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you were also quite close with um in fact actually a lot of us were, were close with the year group um above us um in, 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 including um yourself do you still keep in touch with anyone from either our year or other years from from stream oh yeah a, a lot of the boys um well, I travelled quite young, right? So when I went over to London, I think I was 21. So a lot of the boys over there were older. Um, Hayden and his brother Stu, I lived with in London for a while as well. Um, and then a lot of that year group, Penny, I, I see a lot of. Um, and now, yeah, obviously, I keep, keep in touch with all those boys from Hawke's Bay, Chris Marnie, um, Shorty. Um, I speak to Pat, and every time I come back to New Zealand, I usually bump into Will and Jamie and Wellington and, and, and certain crew. Um, so, yeah, I think I, 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 there'd be 15 to 20 boys that I, I still talk to a lot. Oh, awesome. And it's good to see um, Paddy still got his humour. I see the odd little message pop up on that um, Facebook Messenger uh, in typical Paddy Ford style. So it's lovely to still see he's got that um, streak in him. Oh, he's still a bully, right? I still remember that, you know, always a bully. The, um, <laughs> but, yeah, he's, he's got to... <laughs> the, uh, good memories with Paddy, yep. Oh, awesome! You, well, you would have spent, or you spent time up there, right, with his father and mother in that those young years. I remember in, four, in fourth form, yep. up there for parties when it, his brother was having parties, and they were all you know a couple of years older, and um, good experience for young kids to see. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. All right, mate. Listen. Um, so, what have your thoughts been on the videos? And like you say, you've enjoyed catching up and, and hearing and and seeing people. I'm trying to get a whole bunch more 
guys, um, and I'm reaching out to Dave or is anyone really, but it's just been, well, from the rest of the guys, they've really enjoyed it. And you've enjoyed it too? Oh, it's fantastic. The memories, like, the, it's a long time ago and uh, we've done a lot. And then you've seen these photos now. Uh, it's really quite, um, yeah, it, it's really good. The um, we, We're quite little there when we went there at 12 or 13, right? We're young little kids and, uh, yeah, a long time ago. But, yeah, good memories. Oh, absolutely. All right, uh, Neasy. Listen, it's been awesome catching up with you. I've got a lot of time for you, as, as do a lot of the rest of the guys, and I can hear your family in the background. So it's time to go back with them. But look, um, we do hope that if the borders open up and then we get to see you and, and, and hopefully um, uh, the big man can come over as well. I'm going to release this video in a couple of minutes. Have you got a special message uh, going out to the boys that will be watching this? Oh, no, just a hello. And uh, hopefully you can all get on and have a little chat. And um, yeah, good to catch up. Looking forward to it. Awesome. All right, fellow classmates, that's the one and only um, man from Waipakaro himself, Mark Neese. Neesey, thanks heaps, brother. And once again, great to see you. Look forward to catching up. Cheers, you. See you, mate. Thanks, brother.